Hey YouTube, uh, GML here again. Um, I'm, today I'm going to be trying something different. Uh, I've been got, getting a lot of comments on one of my videos for my crossbow uh, asking how I made it and if I should do a write-up or something. I was thinking I, for, to do a write-up I'd have to make an entire new one. and the, It wasn't expensive, it cost probably $35 with all the parts, but I don't want to, I don't want to make another one right now. It was a lot of work, not too much work, but I have an idea for another project and I'm uh, in the making a bunch of more ones. But before I do all my home weights, I, I uh, draw up my plan for what, uh, what I'm going to make. And I still have my plan for that. So my pl uh, I was going to show you guys how it worked. And I was a little vague in my video uh, last time I made one uh, describing my crossbow. It wasn't very great um, showing some how did some work. I was out of the camera for a lot of it. So hopefully it'll be better this time. Um, all right. So without further, further ado, um, here's the design. It's just did it on loose leaf. Loose leaf, I was out of graph paper. Um, all right, here's the, I can zoom out enough. Um, here are the bow arms. Uh, they should be made out of one half inch uh, PVC. Um, in total, they'll be, uh, there's three feet, or they're uh, 16 inches on, wait, wait a second, no, not 16 inches. Um, they're one and a half feet plus one inch, so that's 17 inches, I'm not thinking right now. 17 inches for each arm. So you can take two 17 inch lengths of uh, one half inch PVC and you put them in a uh, each uh, one half by um, one inch bush bushing and you ram them into a larger uh, one and a half inch T and then you smear, uh, step, push them in this, uh, in there for a sec and then from the front of, a t of the T you will um, show them this my actual bow right now you will drill a hole big enough for a, um, l a short length of a one half inch PVC to go through just into uh, far enough until it can go get to the body of the blaster when it's disassembled. Uh, you have to measure that. Uh, each tee uh, varies in size. Um, once you have that in, um, you're going to push these two pieces together as far as you can, they can go, and then you're going to smother the whole thing in hot glue, and then you're going to um, screw the two pieces in place. Um, after that, you're going to get the, once it's all dry, you move on to the body. Um, I had, I believe, 16 inches of um, one, uh, one and one half inch PVC. Um, I used a, for the plunger rod, I used the five uh, sixteenths, uh, yeah, five, wait, wait a second, three eighths, I'm sorry, I'm getting all my measurements wrong, um, inch P, uh, CPVC rod, or PVC rod, and then this was half inch uh, thin wall PVC, which slides around it pretty nicely. Um, they had a pretty decent stock behind it. Um, the catch was I got about six and a half inches of draw, which is uh, pretty good. Um, I can I noticed I can uh, quickly tighten or loosen the uh, tension of the bow, which is good. Um, again, back to the catch, standard closed pin trigger. Um, the arms of the bow they're connected. I used uh, high strength tension Mason's twine. I got it from Home Depot. I forget how strong it is, but I actually saw on uh, the pack bow. Uh, Ryan McDumber's on Nerf Haven I used like 250 pounds mine's not th quite that strong but it's still pretty uh, strong enough to hold back the uh, full tension of the bow so that should probably give you guys a better idea and in the front there's a super relative uh, plunger head like in the pump snap if you know what that is and that catches on the close pin trigger um, ignore that that's just I was thinking of doing something else but that doesn't doesn't uh, work um, alright I'm going to do the uh, do the honors here. Oh, jeez, I, I might have messed up my. Well, uh, here we go. There was one inaccuracy in the design, and that was that I had the uh, back connecting on a pin, and that was actually I, I was misthinking. That was part of another design. Uh, it just hooks in on the rope for the um, uh, twine on the the priming rod, so it goes back and to cock it, the blaster. I missed. Uh, last time doing that, showing you guys that, but uh, you pull back and you push forwards, and then you fire. I can dry fire this. It just fires like that. So I'm gonna have the hopper on it. It's quite a fast rate of fire. But um, all right. I hope that clears up any uh, misconceptions we have about the uh, original video. Um, got the zoom out design so you guys. If you need to pause it. Um, you planning on making this video or making this blaster? Um, probably I might end up making another one of these and doing a full picture by picture write up like Coop did for his uh, 
Angel Breach Longshot, but that takes a long time. I tried doing that for my newest project. My SD card completely failed and I lost all my pictures, so I'd have to start again, but I just decided against doing that. But um, I think showing the design's good enough at some level. Although this string goes in uh, this, I, the, the hole in the slot for the plunger rod here will actually just attach around the string and then it'll pull back and then when you push the bolt forward the um, it's primed and ready and all the face rape or whatever is all made in so alright um, this concludes the design I guess uh, thanks for watching